Hey, this is Warren Redlich. Just a quick video on what's coming in the future with artificial intelligence, robotics, and how it's going to play out internationally. We know that China has embraced the AI and robotics revolution and it's going full speed ahead. We know that at least parts of America have embraced the AI revolution and robotics going full speed ahead. I think Taiwan is likely to, especially because they're the source of the chips. Another example of, a, of somewhere that's embracing this and moving forward. I'm not sure about Korea. I'm not sure about Japan. I think there may be political resistance in some ways in those countries. You look at Europe, I don't think they get it. I'm here in Thailand. Thailand's resistance to Starlink is a negative sign. The fact that there's no Starlink here when there's Starlink in Malaysia and the Philippines. Why are you lagging on some, some important technology when you have this other important technology coming? What are you doing? I also think that for countries like Thailand and Malaysia and Philippines and Vietnam, the cost of labor is so cheap that the value of artificial intelligence and robotics is actually not that high because it replaces labor that's cheap. So if you were deploying AI and robotics, you would deploy it in countries where the cost of labor is high. But Europe will resist that, so Europe will fall behind. And what I see is China, America, Taiwan, maybe a couple other countries, maybe Singapore will go for it. Maybe some countries in the Arab world like Dubai, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, maybe some of those countries will grab this and move forward. But I think the vast majority of countries in the world are going to fall dramatically behind as a few countries leap very far ahead. AI and robotics will make these countries much more productive. Their economies will grow very rapidly. This is coming in a few years. And it's just going to create this massive AI digital divide between the countries that embrace it and the countries that either resist it or are not optimal for it to get started. If you are a country leader who is looking at this, where do you want your country to be in 10 years? Do you want to be lagging behind or you want to be in the forefront? I'm hopeful that maybe Argentina, Javier Malay will see the opportunity and he will seize it and he will make sure that it happens in Argentina. I'm not sure that's on his priority list. So I hope that's helpful. Cybertruck t-shirt. If you're on X, it's in the reply. If you're on YouTube, it's in the video description. Thank you so much for watching.